My name is Stacy Fish, and today we are at South Middle School recognizing Bob Sennett as our e-learning leader of the month. Bob is our gateway to technology teacher at South Middle School and North Middle School. He does a fantastic job of incorporating different types of technology and robotics into this course. So congratulations, Mr. Sennett. Hey, yes, well, my name is Bob Sennett. Uh, I teach automation and robotics at both a North Middle School and South Middle School. Okay, well, I've been in education for 30 years. Uh, I've got my undergraduate degree from the University of Louisville in middle school education. I have a master's degree from Framingham State University. And uh, for 10 years, I taught middle school, high school mathematics, chemistry, and physics. And I'm licensed both as a middle school math teacher, social studies teacher here in Kentucky, and a principal in Massachusetts. And so while I was down at uh, in El Salvador. I also got the opportunity to work as a principal. I worked as an assistant principal for two and a quarter years and a middle school principal for 15 and three quarters of a year. This is my second year back in the States and my second year teaching here in Henderson and I love it. Uh, the, the school system is, is fantastic. It's wonderful. Uh, great people, great opportunities, great support. Uh, both schools are, 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 are wonderful. And I'm also back here in my hometown of Henderson. Uh, which is also very lovely and it's wonderful to be back. The primary focus of this course is technology. The, the curriculum comes from Project Lead the Way. Uh, we begin by looking at nine different technologies. Just, uh, we study the design process, which is the process that all engineers follow uh, whenever they want to build something, establishing, finding out what is people's needs and wants and stuff, uh, brainstorming an idea to satisfy that those needs and wants, uh, building a prototype, testing it, and then presenting their, their finished product. We start focusing a lot Lot more than on robotic technology and robotic robotic engineering so we start looking at mechanisms different type of mechanisms like like uh, simple gear trains uh, lead screws crown and pinion and we also look at how they work and where they can be find uh, found like the lead screw is in a vice mm -hmm. and so we, we, we study different properties about those mechanisms then they build things using those their knowledge of mechanisms like windmills and pull toys then we start learning about coding and programming and they, they the, the, the code that they use is, is robot C which is a form of C++ that engineers use so once they understand how the coding works and in order to to, to, to make the motors and the sensors uh, operate they put together that they put their knowledge together of the design process mechanisms and coding to actually build robotic projects like like spinning bridges uh, elevators uh, chairs to take grandma up the stairs uh, but it's, it's very hands-on course it's a whole it's a lot of fun because you get to see how things work firsthand because the kids also use batteries that we also study some electricity uh, simple circuits parallel circuits and, 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 and things that, that are related to the robotics course so congratulations Bob hey. Sennett as our e-learning leader of the month hey thank you mm -hmm. thank you